Hi, my name is Julia, and today I'm going to be doing my reading brush TBR. I am a little sick, so I might you might be able to like hear it in my voice. So sorry for that, but I've been sick for four days, and I'm like, I need to film a video. So sick or not, I gotta get this video out. So basically, uh, for the years past, it's been called Book Two-a-thon, but they changed the name from Book Two-a-thon to Reading Rush. There are seven different challenges this year. I'm gonna go through the different challenges and and just explain which book I'm going to be reading for which challenge. And I'll leave links to the videos that kind of explain Reading Rush in case anybody doesn't know what it is. But it's basically a, a reading marathon. It's really fun. I do it every year. The first year I was able to read seven books and it was great. So every year I've gotten worse and worse. So hopefully I can get back to being better this year. Um, I'm, I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see what happens. The first challenge is read a book with purple on the cover. And so the book that I have chosen for this is The Library of Fates by Aditi Corona, I think is her name. Not sure how to pronounce it. I read her other book, Mirror in the Sky, which is, I only read it once, but I'm just in love with that book. Like, I barely remember what happens in it too, but from what I remember, it's just so good. I knew that she came out with a new book and a while ago, and I was like, I need to read this. And then I got the book, like it was a gift, and then I never read it. So I'm gonna read it now, finally, woo! The second challenge is read a book in the same spot the entire time. So what this means is that you don't have to read it in one sitting, but like if, let's say you're gonna read a certain book in your bed, Every time you read that book, it has to be when you're sitting in your bed. I'm gonna kind of put another challenge on it and try to read it all in one sitting. Now, I read the first book last year for what was then called Booktubeathon, and I did read it all in one sitting in like less than 30 minutes. That is because it's a poetry book, and the first book is called The Princess Saves Herself in this one, I think. I think that's the name, and it's by Amanda Lovelace. So I have her second book. The Witch Doesn't Burn, and so it is also a poetry collection, and I really like the first book, so I'm sure I can fly through this one really fast, so I'm sure I can read this in the same spot, it, I, all in one sitting, and I, it is poetry, so it's, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to, like, get through it fast. Because it's poetry, it's probably better to, like, sit and absorb it, but why do that <laughs> when you could just, like, read it really quickly and get another book done on your TBR? Third challenge is read a book you meant to read last year. Well, a book that did come out last year, and I was meaning to read it, like, I, like, bought it roughly when it came out, like, around the, like, same time it came out, and then I never read it. Story of my life. And it's called Genesis by Brendan Reichs. I don't know how to pronounce anyone's name, but I am so here for it. It is a thick book, but the first book I flew through so fast that I feel like I can fly through this really fast too. The fourth challenge is read an author's first book. This book um, I have sitting over there with all the other books that I own that I haven't read, and it is Sky in the Deep. In the summary, or in the author's bio, it doesn't specifically say that this is a debut debut novel, but looking at the author's website, it does seem like this is her first book, so I'm, I'm going in with the assumption that it is. Hopefully this is actually her first book. All I know is it's something to do with Vikings or something? I don't know. I was interested in the summary and then I forgot it, but I just remember that I wanted to read it, so I'm excited. Also for people out there, if you are stuck trying to figure out what author's debut novel should I read, well I have a suggestion for you. Try. My Life as a Teenage Vampire by Julianne Gross, aka it, me. It's my debut novel, available in the description below, so if you're looking for a debut novel. It's under 300 pages. It's roughly like 270 pages, I think. So it's a quick read, um, if you're like worried. So <laughs> if anyone wants to read it, link in the description. The fifth challenge is read a book with a non-human main character. And I came up with the perfect book. The second book in Wires and Nerves. She's an android. <laughs> it's the spin-off series from the Luna Chronicles. I loved the first book so much. And when I finished it, I was like, I need the sequel. I need it so badly. So I bought it like pretty much immediately as soon as it came out. And then I never read it. Now I'm gonna read it. <laughs> it's graphic novel, so I'm sure I can fly through it pretty quickly. That's the key to key to readathons, by the way. Find books that you can read really quickly. So, you know, thrillers, graphic novels, poetry. 
that kind of stuff. So if you need a, a reading rush tip, pick books that are short. Also, if anyone out there is wondering, oh, what book should I read with a non-human main character? Well, I know the perfect book for you. My Life as a Teenage Vampire by Julianne Gross, a.k.a. me. Uh, my main character is a vampire. Well, I have two main characters that do a point of view. Jacob gets turned into a vampire. Not a spoiler, it's the plot line. And then you have Jessica, who is a phantom, a.k.a. a person who can travel through shadows and hunts down supernatural creatures, like vampires. The relationship between Jacob and Jessica get a lot of tension due to the fact that Jacob is a vampire, she kills vampires, they're friends from school, it's fun time. Also there may or may not be a war brewing between the vampires and phantoms because why not? Anyways, I suggest you check it out. It's really good, uh, if I do say so myself. I, I mean I wrote the book so I, got, I gotta say that. Link in the description below. The sixth challenge is pick a book that has five or more words in the title. The book that I actually chose is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I, I bought this book like two years ago when I went to BookCon, which was amazing. Um, never made a video about it because why would I do something as silly as that? Honestly, I just didn't want to vlog during that time. I kind of wanted to experience BookCon without making it about like a video. I bought this at The Strand. Every booktuber talks about The Strand and then I went into it and I'm like, all right, it's amazing there. So I bought this book because I was just feeling, you know, like, stories that center around people in space, you know, like, I was just, I was there for it because I'd listened to, like, the first couple episodes of The Strange Case of Starship Iris, and that, that series just blows me away, and so I was just, like, in the mood for space-related stuff, so that's why I picked this one up, it sounded, like, fun. And then the seventh challenge is read and watch a book to movie adaption. The book that I decided on, because I feel like it'd be like a pretty quick read and I just finished her other book that I own and it's Murder on the Orient Express. I read, I, I just like literally today as a filming I finished um, and then there were none. So I'm kind of in the mood for another Agatha Christie book and it's short, it's really easy to read and I feel like I'll be hooked because you know it's about trying to figure out who the killer is and those, and those stories are fun. So I feel like this will be a good book for me during the reading rush. And I'm excited to watch the movie too. And I've been I've been just like, I need this movie, I need to watch this movie, and I need to read the book. And then I never did. Both Agatha Christie books were gifts from my boyfriend. When he gave me the Agatha Christie books, it was before we were dating. And we've been dating for a year and a half. So you can tell how long it's been since I haven't read these books. So I'm like, I need I need to get on this. I need to get on the Agatha Christie train. Ha ha ha. Get it? train anyways okay um uh, so i'm gonna read this and now the eighth challenge that's not an actual challenge but i'm making it a challenge for myself so they decided to do away with seven books a week or read seven books in one week and i want to keep that challenge i want to i want to accomplish it again i've done it before so i'm gonna do it again i still want to earn those badges there's a website for some reason i signed up and they said they were going to send me the activation code to my email, and it's still I still don't have the activation code, so I don't know what's happening. I might just sign up with a different email and see what happens. I'm just like, why is this not working right now? But I have until July 22nd, so no worries as of now. But, oh yeah, the reading rush is July 22nd to July 28th, in case you want to know. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, this is like sitting on my chest. It's like digging into my chest. Okay. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Um, happy reading and good luck with the reading rush. Um, anyways, time for my thumbnail. Bye! Alright, that's it. Also, if you're wondering who this is, it's Mooncake from Final Space. Second season's coming out soon, so excited! Bye. I almost fell. <laughs>